Welcome back and here we are we're about to get stuck into the action uh, as we revisit back onto the battlefield of the Battle of Bibrac. What year are we talking about here? 58? 58 BC. BC. Yeah. Yeah. And Caesar is about to take on and squash the impudent yeah. Helvetti and their dodgy mates uh, from what's now Switzerland. Um, and uh, at least that's my optimistic hope. Although with my deployment I think I might have set myself a bit of a task but we will see as we go um what we're going to do in this we're going to play through this whole game and we're going to break down and at certain points we're going to focus in on the action so you get an opportunity to see some of the rule mechanisms here in this early stage of the battle we're really going to be looking at how troops are activating how they're moving how they can maneuver and we're just going to play that through as we would a normal game um, so you get an opportunity to see what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume our positions. Are you ready, Mark? I'm ready. Right, good. <laughs> okay, well, let's get cracking. Right, well, here we go. We've taken, we're in our corners and we're coming out swinging. So, Mark, you're going to go first because you're hairy and barbarian. Yeah, right? we're on the attack here. Yeah. So, what I've got to do now is I choose one unit that I wish to activate, first of all, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send my orders out to them and we're going to see what they do. Okay. Uh, so, the first activation I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my cavalry, the Helvetti mm. cavalry on this white flank over here. Like a bat out of Helvetti. Uh, a bat out of Helvetti. Mm. My plan for the yeah. first part of this battle here is I want to try and probe around this right flank mm. here and try and sweep away your Roman cavalry mm. and hopefully expose this rather thin, sort of short line at the moment, which mm. potentially looks a bit vulnerable mm. if it can get hit in the flank. So mm. I'm going to try and take advantage of that. Let's yeah. try and move the cavalry over here. Now we dice yeah. where we want to move. I want to be rolling a mm. two up here to get them moving. Mm. I've ordered a three. Right. Now with cavalry, you add plus two to that, which makes five. Mm -hmm. And therefore, on the movement table, that results then in two squares of movement. Right. With two squares of movement, I can carry out a manoeuvre, mm -hmm. or I could just move forward two squares. So, okay. at the moment, I'm going to decide just to move them forward just two squares there at the moment. Okay. Okay, I'm now going to activate my second unit of Helvetti mm -hmm. cavalry. And this time I've rolled a two, which mm -hmm. again is going to add two to that, makes mm -hmm. four. Four is again two movement points. So right. I'm going to move them forward over here, two squares. Okay. Just straight advance there. Now I've got a, a problem over here with my warband <coughs> infantry. And as soon as I start to activate them, they're going to start moving at whatever speeds I roll for them. Mm. They tend to be a little bit wilder. And at the moment, I just want to probe this right flank for the first 10, 15 minutes of the battle maybe. Let's see if we can get an advantage before we send in the main troops. So I'm mm. going to send forward the skirmishers then to try and support my line of cavalry here. I've rolled a five on the dice, which is really good. That's a good roll, yeah. Adding plus one for skirmishing troops, it gives yeah. me six. That means potentially, actually, I have to move forward to three squares. Do you get a choice of how far they move? Yeah, because these aren't warband. They're I not can choose warband. how far yeah. I want to move them. Right. So actually, I'm going to move forward three squares here. And a very right. boring, not very direct sort of advance here. Yeah. I think the cavalry are generally a bit faster, so I'm going to assume that I'll take the advantage now of getting ahead of my line. Okay. And for the rest of my infantry over here for the moment, mm. we're simply going to form our lines, beat our shield, and generally try to intimidate you. Mm. But um, at that point, then, we're not going to activate our main infantry line for the moment. We're going to see no. how this right flank goes on. Right, OK, you're going to try and defeat me by a feeble trick. Right, OK, well, I'm going to I'm going to go. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to ignore you with my cavalry because my cavalry have the advantage of being uphill and... Uh, if I'm going to charge there, I think I might choose my moment uh, rather than rushing down and getting tangled up in all that agricultural land. But I'm actually going to start off by moving my skirmishers, my Numidian skirmishers, over here 
in front of the 10th Legion. So I'll roll a dice, bounced out of the dice tray, and I've rolled a 1. Now, <laughs> rolling a 1 is not good, is it? Ah, no, unfortunately, rolling a 1 means that your unit hasn't yet received their orders. Right. Or they haven't managed to activate those orders quickly. Right. So unfortunately that means mm. they can't move. That's a bit disappointing. So my new Midians sort of go, what? What's, what's that? What, what are we meant to be doing? And the orders were probably in Latin, yeah. and they're, they're That's Latin right. is a bit, bit, bit pigeon Latin. The Moa Massa Matt, they're, they're still on the primer. Right, okay, good. So, um, well, like you, um, I've decided that uh, I'm, I'm not going to move my uh, main body because we're in a strong position on the hill. But I am actually a little bit worried about these guys coming. So I'm in a, this reserve that I created here. Right. I already find myself in a position, to be honest with you, I think I really messed up my deployment by deploying a little bit too far to the right. If the whole line had been a little bit further over here, that would have suited me. I was really trying to protect my um, raw legions. But I'm going to try and activate them in order to make a manoeuvre. So the first thing I need to do is roll to make sure I have sufficient movement That's to correct. make a manoeuvre. That's correct, you need four up for that. You've got uh, a five. Yeah, I've got yeah. a five. So they got. They need to, to get two movement points That's or correct. more yep. to be able to do a manoeuvre. So they've succeeded in that. Now what I want them to do is effectively, I believe yeah. it's called a drift yep. in the rules, I want them to drift uh, sideways. So I need to roll a manoeuvre test yep. because this isn't one man moving, this isn't 50 men moving, this isn't even 500 men moving, this is quite a sizeable body of men, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a, a pretty fresh <coughs> legion there, you're yeah. probably talking 5,000 <coughs> men or yeah. thereabouts, and they're only raw mm. legionaries, so mm. unlike other legionary yeah. troops, regulars and veterans who will mm. manoeuvre very, very effectively, yeah. these won't manoeuvre so well. Secondly, mm. you're on a hill as well, which mm. means that if you did have a drilled characteristic, yeah. like many of the Romans do have, you can't mm -hmm. use it on this bit of rough ground. It's, it's not the right. parade ground that you've been practicing on. Okay. So it's going to be a roll of four plus to succeed that maneuver. However, mm. if you fail yeah. this maneuver check, it's going to be a reversal of fortune. Yeah. It means I'm going to grab the initiative. And that's actually why I'm doing it last, because mm. I'm not intending to move the rest. So the risky maneuvers I'm leaving till the end. So I roll my dice, yeah, I good. get a five, and they start shifting across. Uh, in that general direction. But it's a slow process moving yeah. big bodies of infantry. Very much so. And uh, they've actually, so they've only moved one square. Yeah. Um, they so need to move a second one ideally, don't they? So They do really. Oh well. Mm. Right then. So that's, 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 that's your phase over with. Yeah. So we've Indeed. both now had a phase. Yeah. That means it's the end of the turn. And it then goes back to my phase again then in the next turn. Okay. Well, I'm fairly pleased with that because mm. The longer I can attack on this mm -hmm. right wing, the better. Yeah. Take advantage of my numbers over here. So mm -hmm. I'm going to keep advancing over here then with my Helvetii Cavalry. Okay. I'm going to activate them for a movement activation and a roll of four. Yeah. I add two to that, makes six. six. That then is going to allow me to do a manoeuvre yeah. and move three squares. Right. So I'm going to try and carry out a diagonal advance manoeuvre. Right. A diagonal advance manoeuvre requires me to roll a two plus then on right. the manoeuvre check, which should be fairly straightforward. Fairly straightforward. Three. Yeah, because, so yeah. I go forward one. Yeah and one to the side. So that yeah. cost me two movement points to yeah. do that. I've now got one left, yeah. so I'm going to advance forward there to the side of the woods. Right. So now I yeah. could go through the woods, yeah. but actually manoeuvring through woods is, is pretty no. awkward, no. and actually carry don't fight very well inside the woods. So mm. I've deliberately avoided that. Okay. That does give your Romans a bit of an advantage now, though, mm. in that you can now fight me maybe one at a time, which yeah. might be rather useful. Let's <coughs> see how we get on. Mm. Right then, I'm now going to advance mm -hmm. there with my Helvetii skirmishers next. So I'm going to activate them for a movement activation. Mm -hmm. I've got a five, I've one is six again, so I can move mm. three. Again, I'm going to move forward and carry out a diagonal advance. I'm okay. going to go to the right this time. Now again, we've got a manoeuvre rating of two plus, so mm. they're very manoeuvrable. Yeah. And I've got a three. So, so they, I'm going to go they forward one, 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 one to the side, side on and then one forward there. Right. So that's my three movement points. Okay. Over here then, with the mm. other Helvetii cavalry, I'm going to activate them for movement. And I've rolled a two. Two mm. out two is four, that's two movement points. Mm -hmm. Just enough to do a manoeuvre on a roll of two plus. And I've rolled a, that's a six, isn't it? The pie and point? Yeah, it's it is. a six. Lovely yeah. stuff then. So we're going to go forward here mm. and one to the side. So we're going to be a square or two behind there. So that's is. your move of two, which is what you rolled. Yeah. Yeah, because you rolled, uh, oh. you rolled two, but you get plus two, so that's four points, which gives you two manoeuvres. Okay. Sure. No, it's well, two points, which is the same as one manoeuvre. So yeah. each manoeuvre costs you. Uh, sorry, not manoeuvres, two yeah. movement points, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So mm. I'm going to keep my line of infantry, I mm. think, staying there for one more activation because right. I've got a surprise up my smith. Right, okay, <laughs> good. Is it chocolates? I like chocolates. Right, so is it my go now? Yes. Yeah, right, okay, well, I'm going to shout at the Numidians in Latin, Scream move, 
And they do, they roll a six, so they can go three. So, but the problem we've got here is they go one, two, yep. and then they're bumped into a wood. What happens when they get to okay. a wood? When you move into a wood, yeah. you've got to take a manoeuvre check, just right. like you would if you change direction. Right. Now again, your skirmishes yeah. are a perfect trick for going to woods. Yeah. They've got a two-up manoeuvrability. Right. So, so it's roll the dice, so six, and in they go. Now at this point here, we can yeah. choose to represent it either by yeah. placing the models on top of the trees. Yeah. Alternatively, if you prefer the aesthetic, yeah. you can simply remove the base yeah. and place the name tag Ooh. over there. To represent the fact they're hiding in the trees there. Luxury. It depends which way you want to play it, Mr. Well, Clark. I like that. I think that's nice. I think that's nice. Yeah. I'm going to put it there. Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's looking good. I like that. I like the aesthetic of that. So I know I've got those guys lurking in there. Um, right. The next thing I want to do. Well, I've got I've got two things I'd like to do. I'd like to continue with this drift. But do you risk that earlier on? But that's, that's the, the issue. But the other issue is, I want to. I'm thinking about charging here while you are dividing. I think you need to take advantage of that before yeah. I manage to reorganise yeah. that. Mean. But that's what I'm thinking um, now. Which is more important? Because both of them put, could potentially result in a turnover ball, can't they? Uh, absolutely. So a yeah. failed a reversal of fortune is a reversal of fortune, yeah. and a failed charge would be a reversal, reversal of fortune. fortune. How many squares away are you from me? Three. So you'd need to roll a four plus with your cavalry yeah. to get the charge in there, and mm. you need to roll a four plus for your movement, so and then a both. four plus for your mm. move check. So mm. you've got a fifty percent chance oh, of carrying yeah. the cavalry, twenty five percent chance with them. Well, I've got to go with that, haven't I? So I'll roll the move five. Yeah, you're in there. Well done. In there. Right. So down they go. Toot toot. Bugles blazing. Yeah, that's right. And into us. Right then. Now, you carry out a charge manoeuvre. Yeah. A charge manoeuvre allows you to move mm -hmm. and then carry out a combat on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Now, at the moment, we've both got equal troops here yeah. and I'm going to be counter charging and doing all the sensible mm. things that yeah. a unit on side mm. would be doing. Yeah. So, we don't worry about what each individual tactical uh, minute yeah. of, of every single part of the cavalry that sure. is carrying out. We've got maybe 2,000 cavalry on each side yeah. charging into each other. Yeah. So, it's going to be a little bit of me counter charging, throwing mm. javelins weeding around and trying mm. to fight you back in the best way I possibly mm. can. That means therefore that you've got a combat score of four and mm. I've also got a combat score of four but you've mm. managed to charge downhill yeah, so I'm going to yeah. give a bonus for charging downhill for that because mm. uh, I think that would have helped you pick up momentum right. and that means then that gives you a plus one bonus. Right. So for this turn mm. you're going to have five combat versus yeah. my four combat. Yeah. Now that means because I have an advantage I roll two dice that's right. Well, that's correct. If yeah. the odds were even if you were on four and I was charging on the flat yeah. it would be one dice but I roll two dice and both of them don't count. I choose the result that I want. So let me roll the dice there. I've rolled a five and a one. Now a one is an atrocious result, so I'll ignore that. So I'm going to choose the five. Okay, so a five would be an advance, which yeah. means you're going to stop pushing me back and mm. I'm going to have to take a discipline check. Right. But I get a chance to stop that now. Right. I'm going to have one defence dice, which right. I get to roll, and if mm. I roll exactly the same score yeah. as you rolled there, a five, mm. yeah. I get to cancel this attack. Let's yeah. hope I'm lucky. Oh, I rolled a three. Right, and let's just stress it has to be the same. A five, it's not. A six, six. No, no, no. no, it's got to be the same. So, so over there, my mm. poor cavalry can be pushed back. Mm. Uh, which means that I've got some options mm. over here. I could choose to use something from my command board now yeah. to try and re-roll that defence dice, mm. but it's only a one in six chance of stopping it. Yeah. So honestly, I'm just going to, I think, get pushed back. So yeah. I roll the dice how far back because I get pushed. Mm. I've rolled a two, which yeah. for cavalry, it's going to be one square. Right. Okay. So I, mm. you always go backwards with cavalry then. Yeah. That's going to be my first thing. Now the second mm. thing which I'm more worried about mm. is because you've got an advanced result on me, yeah. I've now got to make a discipline check. Right on. This is the bit where I start to panic and sweat a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Now I've got seven yeah. discipline. Uh, cavalry yeah. aren't too bad, but they're not mm. really rock solid troops. No. Uh, so I've got to roll two dice and I've got to roll mm. seven or better. I'm hoping the gods are with me today. Mm. The augurys look vaguely promising, but let's see. I've rolled a ten. Right. Good lads, good so, lads. So yeah. fortunately, my Halbetti cavalry are okay. Right. However, mm. I have got to pick up my first setback card of the game. Right, now we talked in uh, one of our other uh, videos uh, about uh, the army's breakpoint and uh, the cards, the setback cards and the disaster cards uh, all have a number on them. Uh, mm. But we don't know what that number is at the moment. Um, and when uh, that number reaches uh, 20 in the case of your army, uh, it could be that your army will break. However, I have to uh, undertake an action called Homunculus Est in order to be able to see your cards. If that number doesn't come to 20, it means you'll be able to remove one of those cards because I've got a failed uh, test. But we'll look at that when we come to that. 
So at the moment, I've got a number on that card yeah. there, somewhere between zero and three, but neither of us know what the number what is. is yeah. So as the battle goes on, I'll keep acquiring those, and that represents the army being slowly ground down. Okay. As a unit, though, mm -hmm. I've still got 2,000 cavalry there, maybe I've lost 40 or 50 men, yeah. but the unit as a whole is still intact. Now, you've got to roll to see if you now follow up there, right. or do you want to try and hold your ground? No, I'll follow up. And I've rolled a one, which means I don't follow up, actually. No. My guys are sitting there reorganising, obviously redressing their... Uh, squadrons um, <clears throat> and uh, reforming. But that's fine, that's okay. I, I was keen to remain in contact, but I'm quite happy to charge in again. So uh, <laughs> that's good for there. So it continues with my move, as that was a successful activation. Um, You're not tempted to move the line forward first? No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I want to... I am actually on a drift. Let's try drifting. So I need four or more, which I've done, so yep. I've got sufficient movement. That four tells me I've got two movement points, which you need for any manoeuvre. Now the key issue here, 50-50 chance, I need four or more, and I've rolled a five. Oh, again, so they've That's done good. brilliantly. Oh. Well done, lads. I'm proud of you. Oh, you've been I've had there. them on the old drill square, and there they are. <laughs> right, so it's uh, my best macro and Kato voice. Right, so there we go. I'm quite proud of that. Quite proud of that. Yeah, you've, um, been, you've been fortunate there with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So these these raw legionaries have actually uh, come up trumps. I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, do I want to do? No, I don't want to do any other movement. I'm, um, actually, yeah, I'm going to try and drift with these guys as well. Oh, right, okay. So I'm really in a drifting mood now. Four. So they've got sufficient movement. Let's see if they do it. Four, five, or six on the maneuver. No. Oh, they're all a bit confused. So it's a failed manoeuvre check. It failed, yeah. And that means it's a reverse it's of fortune, which means the initiative jumps to my side. Yeah, absolutely. So which now my face. Which I kind of anticipated. I mean, I've, I've been riding my luck. Um, and <laughs> I would have been pretty chuffed if they'd done it as well. But obviously, I'd spend more time drilling these than these. So um, there we go. You're going, mate. Right, it's now uh, our turn. <coughs> Three, I think, or is it four? Oh, who knows? Three or four. Well, the crucial thing is yeah. it's definitely at least turn three. Yeah. Which means that in a minute or so, I could mm. drop doing something sneaky. Right. It, it, um, uh, what turn is it then? So the first turn, I think that's turn yeah. two. I think that's my turn three now. Yeah, it three. is your turn yeah, three, yeah. 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 Okay. Then. Mm. So over here, what I'm yeah. going to try and do now is I'm going to try mm. and take advantage of my numbers. I think your legions right. are still a little way off. Yeah. I'm optimistic that mm. we can we can attack those in a minute or two. Mm. But I'm going to try to move my Halbeti skirmishers yeah. then onto the flank of your Roman mm. cavalry. I'm a little bit away now, but mm. I think an eternal throws <coughs> time, I think that's worth yeah. doing. Yeah. It'll give me quite an advantage. So I've rolled my movement, I've rolled three. Mm -hmm. That's going to give me two movement points. Yeah. It's enough to turn, it's a start. Yeah. So I'm going to turn now, and I've rolled a six. So I'm going to turn. It exposes my flank a little bit, but yeah. I think your Roman legions oh, are still far enough away. Yeah. I'm fairly safe there. Yeah. Over here, <coughs> I mm. probably want to charge back in the moment, but that's not mm. a critical move quite yet. Mm. The question is, where do I go now? Do I start attacking now with my infantry? I think mm. I do. I'm now going to order forward my main infantry line here. Okay. Now normally I'd activate mm. one unit at a time. Mm -hmm. However, because I've got two warband directly behind each other, I can activate them in groups of two right. if I want to. Okay, so the, the front one and the supporting one. Absolutely. Yep. <coughs> Actually, I want to be really thinking here about mm. if I move forward as a line together. Mm. Now, you, you could do that with one of your command points, couldn't you? I could do. Now, I've tried that in previous battles before with mm. uh, Helvetian Gauls, and it often mm. could be a battle winner. Because mm. the main issue the Gauls have is they fight very well, mm. but they tend to fight in disorganised lines quite often. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to risk the day saving that movement point. Mm, and I'm okay. going to risk just moving forward at the moment then. Right. My Halvetti troops over here mm. on my right flank. So I rolled four, that moves me two squares. Now mm. I've got to move forward towards the enemy, yeah. and I've got to use all my movement points. Right. And so I'm moving forward two squares. That's, here. that's a characteristic of a warband. If it was my legions and I rolled that, I could go, oh, I can move one or two because exactly. I've got that drill So it allows through. the Romans to maintain yeah. good, mm. solid, orderly lines much mm. more effectively. Okay, you doing anything else? Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm going to move forward then. The next warband mm. as well. The Raki and the Tigurini tribes. I've rolled six, mm. which actually isn't really what I wanted. They're up for it, aren't they? They're, they're, going, up they're going, going on the, bonkers. Uh, they've been on the beer before. They're the battle, surging forward in that sort of... Yeah. Uh, 
Now, I was intending on holding mm. these back mm. now, but now I've seen the line going forward so enthusiastically. Mm. The, the war band on the left hand side here, then the Tigurini and the Lato Trigi tribe now are going to pull up as well. And we're all the three there. I can't be left behind, but I am very worried about exposing this left flank from the Union <coughs> skirmishers. Yeah. Right Still, they've all advanced <coughs> forward, but you can see how on battle line, mm. despite wanting to keep together, Unfortunately, it started to break apart. Yeah. I could have used that movement command point there, mm. but I've chosen not to. And I'm starting to think I've made the wrong choice there. Oh, well, there we go. Right, mm. now the risk is, do I do the charging over here or do I move <coughs> the cavalry up next? I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge him with the cavalry next. Okay. So I'm now going to activate now for a charge rather than a movement activation. Yep. Yep. I need to now get into contact, so I need to mm. two up to get into contact. I'm going to roll a three. So fortunately we can counter charge back over here, into you? Yeah. Now neither side's going to get an advantage at this point now. No, sure. We're both cavalry, you're counter charging, mm. you're doing the same sort of things I was doing last yeah. time, but I don't have the advantage of charging downhill. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a single dice fight. And these are a bit risky, but luckily I've got one dice inside my attack pool. Mm. That means I could re-roll it. You've got to re-roll if, if it goes badly wrong. I'm going to roll a four. So I've rolled a four, and that means now you've got to try and defend it with your defense dice. So you've rolled one defense dice. Let's try. Oh, oh one. Out of failure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm afraid not. So it's been a bit mm. back and forth, this cavalry melee mm -hmm. over here. Yep. So in this swirling combat, then you're being pushed back now. So if you could roll a dice, Richard. All right, let's do one. Ah. So I refuse to budge. Yeah, but it does mean, however, mm. you still pick up a setback card. I do. There, because your troops have lost maybe 30 or 40 yards, and the momentum's just swing back my way a little bit. Yeah. So, so far then, the honours are even. We can imagine maybe a handful of soldiers on each side have been killed. Mm -hmm. Our units have been broken up a little <coughs> tiny bit, but nothing really to affect the, no. the formation. And that's quite good news for me, because it does mean my held major yeah. skirmishers hopefully mm. can charge on the next turn. Yeah, now I've still got the initiative here, and it's at this point here that you can mm. hear the sound of carnixes mm. coming from your right flank good over here. Good lord, good lord, carnixes on the right flank. <laughs> you turned into British colonial mode. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> not Julius Caesar mode. Right then. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to roll to see if I can get my flanking yeah. uh, column to turn up here. I've got two tribes here, about 10,000 warriors, mm. and I've rolled a one. Mm. Ah, so that means mm. my flank attack has not arrived yet, That's Richard. Right. But you can hear them, you can see the birds coming out the trees over there, mm. and because it's a failed attempt to activate a flanking march, then that's again a reversal of fortune. But luckily, right. that was going to be almost my last unit. I didn't get to activate my general's unit there. Right. Well, so, uh, say the Here we go. So it's back over to your face. So, so you know mm. now you've got a flanking force coming over there of barbarian infantry. Yep. You've got to start thinking about how you're going to react to that now. Right, I'm going forward. Right, I've rolled a three. One square. Which is one square, which is actually fine. Yep. So the next one here in the middle. I've rolled a three again, so my legion are moving forward with a measured pace. And these these two legions here, the sixth and the seventh, the experienced legions are taking their skirmishes with them, this attachment. Five. Now that would allow me to move two, but I actually don't want to. I want to maintain the line, so they're going to there. And these guys here, the tenth, they've rolled a six. So they could zoom down there, so they are actually going to... Uh, that gives them three movement, doesn't Tempting it? to get them behind the wood there, isn't They're it? They're actually, they are going to um, go forward two. Oh. And uh, <laughs> can, they, can they turn? Or, you uh, can turn, you need yeah. to do a manoeuvre check to turn. Yeah. Your manoeuvrability is two plus. Whoa! Oh. Right, oh, the famous 10th Legion fail to manoeuvre in time, but effectively all that means is they're starting to go through their drill. Absolutely, but so you can, imagine, you can it. imagine some of the cohorts yeah. in the front are returning to yeah. base there, but the ones at the rear mm. are still traipsing around at the moment. Now, is that a turnover? Because it's a reversal of fortune. Reversal of fortune. Absolutely, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep We're talking. talking American football terms. Here, well, well, rugby actually. Rugby, but, yeah, right, yeah. okay, right. <laughs> That's a shame because I, sh ah, man, that was I was tempted by having rolled that uh, six to do something clever. That I should have stuck well, to the original. You, you plan. have got a choice now, Richard. Yeah, but I because, can re-roll because I... you, you you can't use your drill ability, which on no. the flat you could use. Yeah. Which means they they pretty much automatically going to do mm. that. But you have got still movement dice in your command point. Yeah, I'm going to burn one of my command points, so I'll take that dice off there that yep. I use for that and get to re-roll. You that. do. So at two up, that makes a lot of sense to do it that. It does make a lot of sense. So they manage that, and do they turn like that? Absolutely. So right. they wheel around now. Oh dear. So they're in a good position. Anybody coming over here is. You, you do remember I'm coming from the woods behind you. Don't no, you? I'm not worried about that. It'll take you months to get through those woods. You're rubbish. 
Well, <laughs> right. You wait and see. By then, I'll have beaten these, this crowd up. Right, I'm going to fight my cavalry. So, good use of command board there. Good use of command points. Right. Right. Yeah. So, it's a one dice fight over here. Well, you still got the uh, even score. Six. Oh, for goodness sake. Right Ooh, then. can you bounce that off? So, you're charging right away, crunching through my ranks here. I'm going to block this with a six now. You need to. I've rolled a six. You've well. rolled yeah. a six. I've rolled oh, a six. Yeah. That's a terrible yeah. result for me. Yeah, well, right. that's very fortunate. Yeah, okay, I'm going to manoeuvre it. Uh, you don't need to manoeuvre. I'm going to move it. You're so, going to move it, yeah. yeah. So they're going to move forward. They've rolled a one, which means they failed to move. But that isn't uh, a, a reversal of fortune, fortune so I'm going to attempt um, to uh, turn with this. Okay, you need this. So five you for movement, the so they've got sufficient. Can they manoeuvre? Now they need to roll four, five or six it because did. of their... That and they does. rolled a five, so they will turn to face. Ah, you're going to send a raw legion up against my flank attack. I am, I am. That's very optimistic. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's optimistic. I think, it's, uh, I think they will hold you up for long enough to allow me to kick all sorts of bits out of these guys in the middle. So that is the end of my turn, because I've actually activated everything. So it's on to you, turn four or whatever we're on. Yeah, it's turn four. So I've got some big choices now. Mm. Do I try and bring on my flank attack first of all? Mm. I think I can wait till later in the turn for that. The interesting one is over here. If that I is very interesting. On, because if I can see if you're cavalry there, yeah. you really are in a sticky situation on this flank over here. I know. And I'd love that to be the case. Mm. That's not very kind of you, I have to say, but yeah. <laughs> well, I never said I was kind in this game. <laughs> no. no. Right. Right. Well, I'm going to try and declare a charge over there. Right. Now, charges are a bit risky because if I mm. don't make contact with yeah. you and I've got two squares to move, uh, it's going to be a reversal of fortune. Straight but you away. would only fail on a one or a two, wouldn't you? Because they're skirmishers and they get a plus one. Yeah. So I'm hoping, and I've also got a movement. Yeah. So I, I didn't use that early on. So yeah. let's see if I can use this now. So I'm going to charge. Mm. In fact, you can't actually use a movement dice for charging now, of course. No. So in fact, I could use an attack dice you to could improve use, yeah. it later on. Let's so, see what I get then. I rolled a four. So I've managed to charge, charge into the over here. All right. no, which is very right. nice. Now, this mm. is now going to be a one dice fight. And the yeah. reason for that then is you've got four combat strength, yeah. and I've got uh, two combat strength, but your combat strength is in half, yeah. because you've uh, been hitting the flank. Mm. So it's going to be a one dice fight. So the whilst they're skirmishers and they don't have a great deal of combat power, the fact that they've, they're hitting me in the flank gives you really is a, is a force, a force a, cum a, mo a moderator that... Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, one other option is I could have moved them into combat and not yeah. done combat here, mm. and then fought with you on yeah. three dice against you the other way, which probably would have been more sensible than mm. right. right. But I declared the charge. You did. Foolish enough of me. Yeah. Right, and let's roll a dice. And that's completely cocky, so I'll roll it again. Yeah. And I rolled a five. It's good. So that's it's nice. Can I bounce a five? No, I've rolled a oh, six, yeah, which... Right. Uh, whilst it's higher, isn't good enough. I have to match the number. So, so you're going to now be pushed back yeah. now. So roll the dice. See how far I go. I've rolled one, two. One square. Just, just one square. Exactly what I wanted that one. And I need to pick up a setback card you for do, that, don't do, I? Yeah. Do I need to do a discipline test? I'm afraid you do. Let's roll that. Six. Oh, 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 oh dear. What's my discipline rating? Your discipline rating is seven. No. So that means I failed it. What a bunch of idiots. Right. So you've now got a choice now. You've got two defence mm. dice in your come on board into yeah. your defence pool. Do you risk now re-rolling that on a seven? Or do you save your defence uh, pool for mm. this area around here with your lead? I'm, I think I'm going to have, I know it's a tricky question, a tricky but one. with a seven I could quite easily fail that. And I, you could do. I think I'm going to have to live with that. Really? Okay. Mm. In which case then, you're going to mm. now need to roll two die six to see what happens to you. Right. Eight. Eight. Eight means that you're going to be disordered. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a marker onto the table to represent the fact they're disordered. Now that means now that their formation mm. has either taken really quite significant casualties mm. or their formation is broken up in such a way mm. now that they're quite <coughs> in disarray. Yeah. But you're not going to like the next thing I'm going to do, which is I'm going to follow up with my infantry and I've rolled a one, so that is some good news. That is some good news, um, yeah. However, you're now <coughs> disordered, so yeah. I'm now going to activate my cavalry, cavalry. to fight against them. Mm, now, nice you've bit. now got halved your mm. combat score, so your combat mm. score of four is now going to be down two. to just two. So I've now got four versus two, I double it. Double it. So you get three dice and choose the best, right. I do, so nasty. this could be really nasty. That's That's good good so well, I've got a six then. Right, let me you see really if I can bounce a six, and no, oh, I'll fail with a roll of one. 
Right then, so again, you're going to be pushed back here, so roll to see how far back you put your... Uh, sorry, one dice, I apologise. Uh, six. You're going to go backwards now, three squares directly back away. The only good news is <laughs> that three squares does get me out of out of the action. Well, but potentially, but yeah. you've still got to take a discipline check now. Right. You've only got seven discipline. Right, ten. And he's Ooh. passed it, so you're OK yeah. there then. Mm. So, once you've got to choose to follow up or not, Yeah. Um, I'm going to choose to try and follow up. I need to obviously be quite high staying contact. I've got a one, so in fact, we're going to sit around, probably decapitating the last of your Roman cavalrymen right. who have bravely tried to hold the rear guard. Right. Uh, but your formation over there is now really shot to pieces. So um, mm. I'm in, a, in quite a good place in that flank. I'm rather pleased with that, and it's still my turn. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying this up. game. <laughs> <laughs> Right, in which case now, I'm now going to move up my Helvetic Cavalry here, mm. and I rolled a 1. Now, that's mm. uh, my first 1 on the movement dice, yeah. the, the follow-up move doesn't mm. count no, towards sure. it there. But if I now activate any other units mm. of mine with a 1, mm. immediately after that last one yeah. activation, it's going to be a reversal of fortune. Sure. Therefore, I'm not going to risk moving forward this line quite yet. Let's see if we can get this flanking move. Mm. I need 3 up now to get these to arrive. And I've rolled a one again, so you know what? That's another reversal of fortune. Good news, I told you they wouldn't turn out that you're much absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right, that's worked in your favour quite nicely. Uh -huh, right? has, hasn't it? However, yeah. your left flank at the moment is looking terrible. It is. Well, a uh, bit of a cliffhanger, we're going to call that a day there for now and come back uh, and continue in our next film, but I'm under a lot of pressure here. I can hear a load of hairy people moving about in the woods. The only good news is they appear to be drunk or lost or um, whatever. Uh, my cavalry, who I was hoping would swoop down off the hill and bash the Gallic cavalry and sweep them from the field, swooped down off the hill, bashed the Gallic cavalry and then got bashed themselves with a load of skirmishers appearing from round a wood and uh, driving me off. So I'm very concerned about them. They're very disordered. The only good news is they've broken contact and you weren't able to follow up. Mm. Um, how are you feeling? How are you seeing the game going at the moment, Mark? Well, I'm, I'm really pleased at the moment with how my right flank's going. I didn't mm. quite expect to knock away the Roman cavalry quite so effectively <clears throat> as that. Mm. But unfortunately now, it might end up being a wild goose chase with me chasing after them for the next couple <clears> of turns because <throat> you managed to retire so far up the hill. I do really mm. want to try and take advantage though to try and swing around this flank here. Yeah. But if only that flanking force could turn up, mm. and I think you'd be in a really awful pickle. So I think you're now in a situation when you're going to almost be forced to come down off that hill there you're and take right. that advantage with your Romans while you still can. And I'm going to have to try to reorder my line over here as best I can. But it's going to be an interesting moment here in which can my infantry now hold up the strength of all your legions here. Mm, mm. Um, and I'm, I think it's looking promising though. I think Caesar's looking a bit worried with his two setbacks. Yeah, yeah. Nothing decisive yet though. I think you're right, mate. It's, uh, it's still all to play for. It's a game of two halves and all that. So um, if you've got any questions, just put them below. Tick boxes, click things, do whatever you're meant to do on this thing. And we'll come back again and... Carry on with the action next time. See you then.